Hi, my name is Scott Kalachi and I'm with Fabaro Home Intelligence Company and I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, our wireless automation system. It uh, runs on the Z-Wave protocol. Um, we actually have two different hubs or controllers if you will. We have our Home Center 2 which is geared more towards the CI channel, the custom installers, and then we have our Home Center Lite which is going to be more of your DIY uh, slash retail piece. Um, the major differences between the two are the Home Center 2, uh, you'll actually be able to write script to it using the Lewis script uh, to create uh, a little bit more of complicated scenes if you will. It's also got voice, voice over IP to work with the intercoms. Um, and you can also have unlimited plugins for third-party devices. Um, and with the Home Center Lite, you're going to have about five to ten of those plugins. Uh, there isn't any of the voice over IP, and um, you're not going to be able to do any of the Lewis, Lewis scripting to actually really get in and do those creative scenes. Um, so that's the difference between the two controllers. We also, um, I'll start with some of our devices. This is our smoke, uh, smoke detector here and it's not just a smoke detector. If you notice, it's very cool looking, uh, very uh, industrial design, which is one of the things Fobaro is known for. Um, it's got an LED indicator. It's also got a siren indicator. It's got a temperature sensor built in. It's also got a uh, black box technology built in. So what this is good for is say, uh, heaven forbid the house burns to the ground, it actually shows and tells you and graph and is stored up in the cloud um, how it started, where it started. Um, so it definitely helps to find out where the fire started from. Here you've got our motion sensor and again all of our sensors are multifaceted so the motion sensor is obviously a motion sensor, it's got a light sensor built in, it's got a temperature sensor built in and an accelerometer built in. Um, one unique thing about this is you see the blinking LED light you can actually create different things so when you wake up in the morning and this is up in the corner of your house say for instance you have it set up uh, on temperature outside the house so when it's you wake up and it's above 80 degrees you could have it blinking red if it's below 60 degrees you could have it blinking blue so it's up to you how you want to utilize uh, the LED light okay this is our flood sensor um, again, multifaceted. Our flood sensor is not only a flood sensor, it's got a temperature sensor built in. Um, it'll tell you whether it's a leak, just a little small water leak, or a flood. It's waterproof. Okay? And actually, it's got two different placements for it. If you notice underneath, you've got the 24 karat gold springs on it uh, for uneven surfaces, which you won't see in any other flood device. You can also put it up on the wall for the harder to put places with the two prongs coming down. Uh, it's got a built-in Z-Wave network range tester. So now when you're walking around your house, based on the LED color, you'll know if it's communicating directly with the hub, if it's uh, communicating off of a repeater, or if it's out of range. Uh, very easy to use. 